Hello everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Natasha and uh, thanks for coming back to our videos at Beyond the Cookbook. Today we have something simple today for, for you. Um, it's a meat sauce. It's a meat sauce that I make uh, for lasagna, for spaghetti, for you know, whatever. And it's sometimes um, I have it in the freezer for those nights when uh, you don't know what you're going to make. So it's very simple. It's vegetable um, based. I mean, there's going to be meat in it. But I try to put in as many vegetables as possible. Um, of course, we have onions and garlic, um, a pepper. You can use whatever color you want or have. Zucchini. I like to add mushrooms. I don't have any mushrooms right now, but you can add mushrooms if you like. You can also add um, carrots and celery. You know, you can go all out with vegetables. Um, but this is basically what I'm going to make today. Uh, we have our our seasoning, our Italian seasoning, we have bay leaf, tomato paste, uh, salt and pepper, tomato sauce, um, canned tomatoes. These, these can, tomatoes have garlic and oil, so there's a little bit of flavoring there, and of course, olive oil. So let's uh, get our ingredients together, and uh, we'll make it together. Start by putting uh, about a tablespoon worth of olive oil in a pan, turn it on to medium high and wait for it to become hot. We're going to start with sauteing the onions. You just need them to be a little bit translucent. We'll just let that go and we'll get our garlic ready. While we wait for the onions, we can go ahead and chop the rest of our vegetables, being careful to remove the seeds from the uh, peppers and make sure that the zucchinis are all pretty much the same size so that they all cook together. We're gonna add the garlic. So there's three cloves of garlic here. You can add as many cloves as you like. If you like it, um, with a lot of garlic flavor, go ahead. Let that cook. Here we're gonna add our peppers and zucchinis. You can add whatever color pepper you want. If you don't like zucchini, you can add a different vegetable. You can add all kinds of vegetables, but this is a good way to put vegetables in uh, sauce for kids who don't like to eat a lot of vegetables. Oh. We're going to add a little bit of salt, so it'll help draw out the waters from the vegetables. And we'll add some pepper. And we'll add our two bay leaves. So at this point, I'm going to add the meat. If you wanted this to be a vegetarian sauce, then obviously don't add the meat. Um, you can add more vegetables. Like I said um, in the beginning, you could add um, carrots, celery, add more peppers. You can add eggplant. Um, spinach is another perfect vegetable in here. Broccoli. All of those vegetables are really good in here. But I'm going to add the meat now. Now there's really no measurements because this is just a package of ground beef and this is extra lean so there shouldn't be a lot of fat. You can use medium, you can use whatever kind you like. So now it's just a matter of cooking through the meat and then adding the tomatoes and the uh, sauce. Make sure to add some salt and pepper as you're browning the meat as well. Mm -hmm. 
I added uh, salt and pepper. I'm gonna add the, this is Italian seasoning. It's about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half or so. So I put a little well in the middle because I wanna drain all of this. It's not a whole lot of fat, but we don't need all of this. So I'm just gonna try and scoop it out. It's okay if you don't get all of it. Just try not to get the vegetables. This is the reason why I try to get um, lean meat or extra lean because we don't need all that extra fat. I know, you know, it adds to flavor, but we don't need all the extra fat. I'm not going to take all of it out, but I'm going to try and take out as much as I can. Okay, I've drained uh, fat from the um, meat, so I'm going to add tomato paste. So I'm just putting a little well in the middle again. Adding about a tablespoon or so. And I'm going to stir it up. This will help thicken the sauce a little bit. Plus it gives it a nice uh, intense tomato flavor. Okay, at this point I'm going to add the stewed tomatoes. Mix that in. And then once it's all combined, I will let it cook for a few minutes and then I will add the tomato sauce. Okay, let's add the tomato sauce. I use jarred tomato sauce, like store bought. If you have homemade, then by all means use it and you can add whatever flavor you like. This one happens to be just tomato basil. Add more salt and pepper if you need it. At this point, the sauce is ready. You just have to let it cook for about another hour, hour and a half to two hours, depending on how thick you want it. Um, and then you can cool it and put it in containers and put it in the freezer or you could use it for pasta or um, lasagna. So today I'm going to make lasagna. I'd like it a little bit uh, saucier than this. So I'm going to add, I'm going to rinse out the uh, jar and the can and I'm going to, with water and then I'm going to add it into this because for lasagna you need to have it a little bit soupier or a little bit saucier to help uh, cook the noodles properly, okay? But if you're not, if you're just gonna make it to, uh, for, for pasta sauce or for the freezer, this is fine. Just let it cook for about an hour and a half and it should be fine. So I got about half a, half a can's worth of water. I'm gonna shake it a little bit and add it. Here's our sauce, nice and thick and ready for lasagna. I want you to try this sauce, try making it for your family, you guys are going to love it. It's great to have it in the freezer like I said, we re recently went on a trip and I had some of this um, in the freezer so when we came home this was our first dinner. So hope you enjoy this, see you next time. Thank you.